Alongside me, Andrea McLean, are Colleen Nolan, Carol McGiffin and Denise Welsh. <laughs> Still to come, here to tell us her remarkable story of her life as Mrs John Prescott, that's Pauline Prescott. But first, actress Amy Adams is ecstatic at the prospect of becoming a mum, but says, I'm far too impatient to wait and see if I'm having a boy or a girl. These kind of surprises just don't go well with my personality. So she's keeping the secret to herself uh, for the moment, um, which we can all understand, but how, how good are we at secrets? How good are we at keeping secrets? No, at, at, at coping with like surprises. No, I coping with surprises. I absolutely love surprises. I absolutely love them. And sometimes if somebody kind of gives something away, I pretend I haven't heard it because I think, no, I want it to be a surprise, so I'm going to ignore that comment. Mm. And um, I just love it. I, I can't understand people that don't. It's like at Christmas, I don't know what I'm... I don't know, you know, I don't want to know what I'm going to get. You don't go hunting um, or anything? No, never go looking for presents or anything. And I never did, even as a kid. And my 40th birthday, um, Ray did a big surprise party for me. And I just, I just love it. And I actually like surprises for me rather than trying to keep a surprise for someone else only because... I'm terrified that I'm going to be the one that lets the cat mm. out of the bag. And I spend the life... When they're talking to me, I'm thinking... I'm looking at them like that because yeah. I think I'm going to tell you. I'm minute, the complete, what's happening. I'm the complete opposite. I absolutely love doing surprises. I love doing people's surprise dinners and, you know, somebody's going to turn up. I've done them for Tim's random birthdays, not just the main birthdays. But I just don't, I just don't like them. I have this fear that anybody's going to do. I kept saying to Tim, don't even think it'll be a nice thing to do a surprise for my 50th. Why? It just won't. In case I just wasn't in the mood on that it particular is, day. This is your life. <laughs> no, but they did do that. But they did do that and I didn't like like that. That. Yes, didn't no. even like that. I freaked out about that. You've been on this is your life. Yes. Yeah. God, have you not? <laughs> I have. You got me coming. Yeah. Oh my God, I'd love that. Um, no, I, don't. I just, I mean, obviously, the whole, the, 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 there was a proper surprise, and but, but then, yeah, it was a proper surprise. But even then, I freaked out a bit ab about it because I didn't know if I was going to like it. I didn't know if the right people were going to be there, and then I had. Yeah. yeah. So I would just, I would rather do the surprise than that. Than, ha than have it. Yeah, I like personally. surprising people. I've got um, two friends, Steve and Simon, and every time they go on holiday, and I'm not even invited, I just turn up. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. And I, 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 I honestly, I, once I turned up at the airport, and they were like, "Oh, you come to say goodbye?" And I went, "No, I'm coming with you." <laughs> and they were like, "Hooray!" They don't mind. But um, <laughs> do they really? Do they really no, not they mind? Really, they really. <laughs> Oh, what about Mark? Mind. Is he good at oh, surprising? No, me? he's a nightmare. It, oh, well, because he cannot keep a secret. <laughs> the other day, he said to me, "We, we bought his mum a couple of presents for its, it's her sixtieth birthday coming up in uh, in Thailand." And the other day, he said, "Oh, I've just been telling my mum about the presents." I'm like, "What are you telling her? Is there it's her birthday present?" He cannot keep a secret. It's impossible for him. But I have to say, in his defence, the one secret that he did keep that I had absolutely no idea about was when we got engaged for the second time, when we went to Paris, and he was, like, fumbling around. Not much of around. a surprise, though, when you've been engaged once yeah. before. Yeah, but, no, but... Yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't, like, done properly, and he didn't think it was right because he didn't have a ring or anything. And, and we went to Paris for his birthday and my birthday, and I had absolutely no idea what was going on, except for he was fumbling in his pockets. And I was going, what are you going in your pockets, Well, that's then? what I mean, he can't keep... Because I'm so a... nosy. I know! He can't keep a surprise. I'm like, what are you going in, are you going in your pockets? What does he call you? Columbo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's time for your uh, second glimpse today at this 